Now that probably is not Lee Van Cleef taking that tumble out of the wagon. It probably was his regular stuntman, Romano Pupo, who will also appear in the film in just a minute or two. Actually, just a second or two, because he also plays a bit part in the film, besides being just a stuntman. And speak of the devil, second through the door there in the brown hair. That's Romano Pupo. Yeah, Romano Pupo was second through the door, playing the deputy, and first through the door was the actor playing the sheriff, Franco Balducci. Now, I've always considered Franco Balducci to be the Italian's answer to Brian Brown. You know that Australian actor, Brian Brown, from movies like Breaker Morant and Cocktail? Well, Brian Brown came later, but you know what I mean. Similar-looking guys. Yeah, that's Franco Balducci on the left. And there is Romano Pupo back with his one big line in the movie. Yeah, the stuntmen would typically also play small speaking parts. Romano Pupo often played a henchman or some sort of third tough guy to the right. But he did usually have lines. And if you wondered why Romano Pupo was in so many Lee Van Cleef movies, now you know. And the other stuntman that played a lot of small roles in these westerns was Benito Stefanelli, who is not in this film. Yesterday he was in my office. Romano Pupo may be able to claim that he was in more Lee Van Cleef movies, but Benito Stefanelli got to be in all these Sergio Leone westerns. I don't think Pupo started doubling Lee until the big gun down. And both of them, Benito and Romano, co-starred with Lee in Day of Anger, the other Van Cleef Western from this year, 1967. Now in this close... Oh, great stunt there, crashing through the window out of the burning building and landing on his feet, firing all the while. Again, that was certainly stuntman Romano Pupo doubling for Van Cleef. And since we know that Romano Pupo not only doubled Van Cleef, but also had small speaking roles in Van Cleef films, starting in 1966 with the Spaghetti Westerns and going all the way, at least, to the 1973 Lee Van Cleef Euro crime film Mean Frank and Crazy Tony, and since we know that sometimes they even did scenes together, like in Day of Anger or Commandos, Romano must have shared a decent amount of time on set with Lee, right? And I've been asked before whether Lee and Romano were buddies. Did Lee like his regular stuntman, or was Romano Pupo repeatedly hired just because he had the same basic height and build as Lee? Well, it's been widely reported that Romano Pupo was a pallbearer at Lee's funeral. So that would seem to indicate that yes, Romano and Lee were in fact very close. To think about Romano flying all the way from Rome to Los Angeles in 1989 to attend and participate in Lee's funeral. But I double-checked the copy of the program of Lee Van Cleef's funeral service, the one given to me by Tom Betts, one of the original superfans of the spaghetti western genre. And of the traditional six pallbearers, there's no Romano Pupo. There's fellow actor Rance Howard, who was Lee's close friend, but who was probably most famous for being Ron and Clint Howard's father. Uh, he was a pallbearer, and he gave the eulogy. And there was movie star Rory Calhoun, that Lee did several films with back in the 1950s. He was a pallbearer too, but no Romano Pupo. But then if you look down on the program, you see a section called Honorary Pallbearers. It's 12 names. And two Italian names stand out there. Antonio Margariti, the film director that worked with Lee six times, and Romano Pupo. Now, I'm not certain that all the honorary pallbearers were actually in attendance, but typically they are. And typically they follow behind the casket without actually carrying it. And in any case, someone in the Van Cleef family decided that Romano Pupo should be named as an honorary pallbearer. So, in the final analysis, yes, it's safe to say Van Cleef and Pupo were close.